Hello, my name is Mike Einspar, and this is my introduction video for EDL 851. Uh, why do I want to become a principal? Um, I've been, been involved in education for over 20 years as a special education teacher and as a uh, head coach and assistant coach at, for many different sports. Um, and it's, uh, I feel like it's time for me to not only develop a classroom or a team, but really help develop a building and teachers and, and peers, um, you know, from more of a building level rather than just uh, uh, a classroom level. This has become a professional goal of mine just here lately within the last couple of years to take the next step and, and do the administration route. Um, the supervisory roles that I have experienced so far have mainly been in the athletic field. I've been a head football coach both in the state of Kansas and Florida. In Kansas, the, my staffs have been uh, relatively small, uh, anywhere from three to you know, eight adults, ranging from the high school, uh, middle school, and even youth league, all within the same program. In Florida, it was a much bigger scale. We had uh, 10 coaches on staff at the high school level. Um, there were times... Um, like I'm sure most teachers have been given some quote unquote teacher on assignment duties to help supervise um, faculty and staff in different scenarios. But mainly my uh, supervisory roles have been in uh, the athletic world. Uh, many years ago, I was the director of football operations at a major, major university, in which case I was also in charge of supervising coaches from an administrative point of view. And so I do have do have some administrative um, supervisory roles, but not not a lot. Uh, describing the evals conducted on me um, <clears throat> throughout the last 20 years, uh, there has been um, you know the swing from the uh, twice a year where the administrator um, and or special education supervisor plan to come in and see you and you know go over what you've done well, what you need to work on to uh, anymore. It, it's really nice to have the administrators that are able to come through at different times during the year, multiple times, so they can see different levels of teaching, different techniques that you're using, whether it uh, be the think, pair, share, the I do, we do, you do mentality. Um, so in Florida, we really adopted more of a Danielson model um, that was used with, with the teachers. Um, and, and when I moved back to Kansas, we still do some, you know, a hybrid form of that, which is good. Um, one thing I would really like to uh, get better at um, is evaluating of the special education teacher, not just what they do in the classroom with, uh, and, you know, in front of kids or with kids, but what they do behind the scenes and really help them develop their, their IEPs, their communication with students, teachers, and parents, and um, that's one thing I'm really looking forward to get out of this class is getting some some great ideas and, and seeing what what uh, my other colleagues are doing out there as far as supervising uh, maybe some special ed teachers, not just in the classroom, but with their IEPs. Uh, thank you.